Okay, so in today's video, guys, we are going to be going through the GYS 3902 Dent Puller System. We've got Dan here from GYS. Hi, Dan. Hello. Hi, Tony. Okay. Not too bad, mate. Nice to meet you. Hey, you too, buddy. You too. And Dan is going to be running us through the GYS system. So Dan, if you want to just speak a little bit about the system. Yeah, all, all we're going to do today is we're just going to run through an introduction into the GYS 3902 dent repair system. We're going to go through um, some of the equipment that goes with it, uh, some of the techniques that we use in repair to removing uh, damage from vehicles and how we use the system itself in regards to some of the applications of equipment we use. Um, to, to operate this system. Brilliant. Okay, so let's get cracking and let's start this video. Okay guys, so this is the GYS system that we're gonna be looking at today. I'm now gonna pass you over to Dan, who will take you through the machine settings and also all the attachments for it. So Dan. Okay, all right, Tony, what we're gonna do then is we're just gonna talk a little bit about the settings on the machine and each um, attachment that goes onto the machine. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is just obviously turn the machine on. And the easiest way to do it is probably start from number one and work our way across the menu at the bottom um, and just describe it as we go along really. Um, the menu here on, as you'll see on your left, is all the tool attachments um, that will go with the machine. So generally as we work our way across each attachment and each tool, all we need to do is we just press tool select, whatever tool we're going to use whether it be one to seven, select the tool we're going to use and that machine is now ready to use that equipment. Um, the other menu on the side is just for the power setting. So on very, very thin material, we probably always start off on the lowest setting possible. And then if you need a little bit more power, we can always come up with the power. Um, generally as a go-to setting, I usually sort of work round about sort of three to four as, a, as an average sort of uh, setting and that generally sort of does most of what you need it to do really. Um, so what we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll just start again from, from the first setting which is number one and we'll just talk through some of the uh, equipment. So as you can see here on the machine there's a little triangle. What that indicates is, 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 this, is this triangle here, the copper triangle that's on the end of the slide hammer. Um, so if we, if we was going to start using the slide hammer, we're on setting one, number one, that's it, we're ready, we're ready to go with, with, with the slide hammer there. Also you can see is a funny looking um, little symbol there on number one. What that indicates is, is, a, is our manual liner, which is this piece of equipment here. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about this later on in the video but it's just to give you an idea of, of what that actually is because obviously the symbol looks like an um, unusual piece of equipment really. Uh, as we move across then to number two, so let's do it as we was going to use it. Number two, what we've got there is, is predominantly whenever we've got some heavier damage into a, a vehicle, these are the main two things that we'll probably use. Um, so one of them being is, is the pulling rings which is indicated in the picture. And the other one is the wavy wire, wiggly wire. People have all different types of names for it, but, but that's what it is. Um, there are the two settings on number two. And the next one across, number three, is, uh, is our high spot remover. So the attachment that we're gonna to use today on that is, is this little attachment here. And that's for sort of generally sort of pulsing down little small high spots, but we'll cover that later on in the video as well. Um, number four is our, is our carbon shrinking rod. So that, that's what it looks like, and, and that's generally for shrinking back stretch panels and to tighten, tighten the panel up before, um, before we repair it. Number number five on the on here 
what we're then using is, is, is we're going into uh, placing studs so that's what these are for little small studs and um, usually find them under sort of splash guards under wheels with little plastic 10 mil nuts on um, we have a little attachment in here to to to, uh, to place them studs on as well um, number six will be our little copper rings so there's little copper rings and, and that's what we use to attach our earth um, earth lead which we'll, we'll also cover later on in the video um, number seven again that's just a different type of stud and uh, we'll also cover that later on in the video as well but it just gives you an idea of uh, the picture on the machine that's that's all the accessories and attachments that we're going to use um, and that, that's that's it for now thank you so as you can see there is quite a lot to this system there's a lot of different uses and we will try and cover as many of those as we can with Dan in this video for you as well so you can see just the kind of use that you can actually get out of one of these GYS systems Okay Tony, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to demonstrate uh, a sway line repair and the equipment that we'd use to do that. So what we're going to use is we're going to use on this repair we're going to use the wiggly wire and the attachment we're going to use is, a, is this little attachment here. That's the attachment we're going to use to place the wiggly wire on the job. What we'd use on the machine is level setting 2 which is the wiggly wire one. So we're just going to crack on and, uh, and place this on here now. So that's it now, the wavy wire is attached. Let's try that little one there again. The wavy wire is attached, and now we can look at removing this dent. We've got the pulling arm in place now, Tony. Obviously, for the demonstration purposes, we've got we've got the feet of this um, right in the middle of the bonnet. If it was a live job, we'd, we'd put some other support under there, maybe like a sheet of plywood or something like that. But for the demonstration of, of, of this equipment, just to just to show it, it's fine. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to try and just start to lift the repair. So as you'll see here, with this puller and this claw hook, it really does make it really nice and easy to put a slow amount of pressure on this wire to lift the dent. And the way that it works is the hooks are all splined differently and they'll all lift up until they all reach a level height. So if you're pulling something like that, which is on that swage line there, as you can see in the top left hand corner, it'll pull every hook up until the point that they're straight and then we can move on to panel beating the repair. It's just slowly winding it up. You've got total control over your repair. Like I say, there's no snatching at it. You just slowly watch it ease out. And as we've got that repair somewhere where we're near it, what we do now is this high spot here, we get our panel hammer and start tapping that back down to relieve some of the tension in that repair. So now with just a light tap of the hammer, we can release the tension out of that. So when we release the wire, that will stay in place. So this tool now, Dan, this is just lifting those last little tiny bits of low spots. It is. It's just, it's just neatening up your repair and perfecting it really. Taking the little low spots, just to, you know, just evening them out, so using less filler. Um, just neatening the repair up really, yeah. I suppose um, that's really sort of key to using a system like this. The closer we can get the repair on the metalwork, obviously the less filler we've got to put in there, and the you know, the better the repair is overall, isn't it? Oh, massively, massively, yeah. So I mean, we always want the job as nice as we can get it, um, or less filler. Um, try and get the repair as, as 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 close to the original panel as we can. So, so this just does that really, just neatens it right up. Um, perfects it really to, to the best you can get it before you're ready for your filler work. And as you can see there, that nasty dent on that swage line now has been fully removed in a matter of minutes. And the beauty of the system is if you set the heat and the temperature right, then it won't actually pull any holes in the panel like panel pins would. The little holes on this were down to our error on the day we had the temperature set that just that little bit too high. Okay, Tony, for this demonstration, what we're going to do is, is we're going to show um, just a small crease repair here. Obviously, these can be used 
um, and a lot more severe creases than this and we're going to be using these pulling rings just for the demonstration just just to show how we'd apply these on a crease um, so I'm just going to crack on and, and start doing that now. One thing that I really like about these pulling rings is they are very quick and clean to fit and remove and they can be fitted a lot closer together than the panel pins on a conventional copper pin system can as well which makes for a really really good even pull when you've got a nice you know when you've got a nice sort of crease in a panel like this you can get them stacked nice and close together and really give it a really nice even pull now if we were using panel pins the issue there is the head on the actual welder itself is a lot further apart so you can't get the pins as close together and again the same with this we can do this pretty much in a similar way that we use the squiggly wire we can just put the stainless steel rod through and just apply a light amount of pressure and as you can see it's pulling that bonnet straight up with a very small amount of pressure just by turning it on that puller at the top and the beauty is because you're not pulling at it or yanking at it as much say like with a slide hammer attachment or something like that it's a very nice clean even pull across the panel and again with the hook it will pull it back to a nice even straight pull so there's no smacking on it to try and pull it back out and ending up with a lot of high spots in it it can do a very nice even controlled pull on the metal which even for us on the day as a beginner user of this system on that first repair I found it extremely easy to get a really nice good metal finish with this and obviously because we're going to finish this off with a tiny little bit of body filler and we chose to go with finishing filler we've got this repair within around about a millimeter of just being a, like a millimeter low so I can just give that a nice quick little light skim with a finishing filler like dolphin glaze and literally a quick block and I would be away straight away and I wouldn't be piling it full of filler. Okay Tony, what we're now going to use is we're now going to demonstrate the slide hammer um, which is setting one on the machine. Um, we're just going to use this bonnet for demonstration purposes just to show the effects of, of um, what damage we can remove with, with, with this slide hammer. So again, which is kind of like the theme to the system, is how quick and clean and easy this is to use. With it being an automatic weld, so as soon as you touch the slide hammer or one of the panel or one of the pins on with this system, it automatically welds to the panel. And it literally is a quick twist of the wrist and it will snap straight off. And it won't leave any holes as long as you set the heat right. So unlike a conventional pin pulling system again you just pull the trigger and you there's a lot of guesswork to how long you need to weld it this will only weld for the amount of time that it has been set to weld for so there's no risk with that either i think we'll probably stop there just that gives you you know it gives you an idea of kind of where we're at with it what we probably do now if, if this was a live vehicle and we was somewhere where we was 80 90 percent of the damage was removed we'd then use an additional tool which you can buy as an optional extra which is uh, called a manualiner and uh, we'll demonstrate that now if you like. Okay Tony, once we got to this stage, what, what we'd probably do then is we'd probably try and finish the rest of the repair off with um, one of the optional lectures we, we can put onto this machine which is called a manualiner. Um, so we're just going to carry on and do that now. So this extra tool that you can buy for this is basically more like a finishing tool so you can really fine tune the metal work to get it as close as you possibly can so that when we come to do the actual filler repair on this we're going to use the least amount of filler possible to make this a really nice clean metal repair we've just basically like a skim of finishing filler or a really fine skim of filler and although the manual liner is an optional extra adding one of these to your machine like we're going to will allow you to really fine tune your metal finishing skills but that's the thing with that you're not pulling high spots are you because it's braced that's it. You, so you're only pulling it. You're only pulling it flush, aren't you? You're just pulling it nice and flush, getting it as neat as you can. So we're using less filler, you know, which obviously causes less sinkage, less ringing, all the rest of it. Um, normally at this point, I get a little flat edge and just check out if I've got any little low spots, and then identify them. Sometimes you have a little marker in my pocket, mark them out, and then just finish them off with a manual liner. Um, try to finish the repair the best I can, really. And also because of the feet on this actual puller as you're pulling the metal up because you've got the feet on each side and you're just pulling it and tweaking it a tiny little bit you're not pulling the high spot in because you've got the nice brace across it you're just lifting it a tiny little bit so that enables you to get that really nice metal finish repair on it 
Yeah, that's exactly right. You're just tweaking your repair, just finessing it. It's a finesse tool, really. You're just making it as nice as possible. And as you can um, see there, a really slight pull and a quick snap, and it's straight off the panel as well. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I will leave a link in the description to the GYS Dent Puller System. And I just want to say a big thanks to Dan from GYS for coming out and showing you guys this system and giving you a little bit of a better view of this system than I could of myself. So that's it for today's video guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.